return to the Nashville Stadium, this time as a professional fighter, former Irish amateur champion, now here, only a step away from a crack at a world title. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the main event of the evening. Eastwood Promotions are proud to present an international middleweight contest of ten three-minute rounds. The Tween and introduce you to you in the blue corner with a record of 40 wins and one loss from Indianapolis, Danny Morgan. Freddie Tate and this is Steve Collins. Steve Collins, the black shorts. And for many here in the stadium, it's their first glimpse of him as a professional fighter. I think almost everyone here has seen him as an amateur some years ago, but now we see the difference, Steve Collins. Danny Morgan. Danny Morgan, the American, coming here with a very impressive professional record, only beaten once in 40 pro fights. A lot of untidy boxing in this opening round. A little showmanship there. Go on, Steve, go on. Hooking well for the body with that left hook. Collins wants to win and win this one well. This is to be his stepping stone for a crack at the world title. You could rate it number one challenger to Mike McCallum. McCallum has now been stripped of his title. Now it's all set for Collins to fight for that vacant title. But he's got to get past this one first. Leader Boxer is properly settled down in this opening round. And misses, but then connects with a good one. Well, Collins looks like a man who means business and wants to finish this fight early. He's concentrating a lot on the body and connects well, and he just missed by a whisker there, but a good right hand. I could have ended it in this first round. Collins trying to draw his man on and counter with those good short punches. Bobbing and waving from Morgan. A little bit dangerous the way the bobbing and waving there. There could be a clash of heads. That's always a danger. That's the end of the first round, and I think uh, Collins and his fans are happy enough at the end of that first round. Very important night for each of these boxers. A win moves them right into top into world class. Challenge, the loser drops quite a bit back. Second round. The opening round, Collins seemed to have the measure of his man there, jumping well with the left hand. And punch into the body.
This is the second round of the boxing so far. Looks fairly comfortable for Collins. He's picking them off from time to time quite well. And there, Morgan runs onto a good short right hand. And Collins is letting them go now. Yes, he's really punching him with good ones now, looping the bit. And there's a good left hand to the chin. Now, is Morgan in trouble here? They say this fellow is tough, resilient, and he certainly looks at as if he can take a good shot. Moves inside, trying to get out of the range of those punches by moving in close and holding on. And there again, Collins, fast with those hands. He's a fast puncher, fast again, left and right. This is not going to go on too long, I think. Collins looking comfortable, but he wouldn't want to take too many chances because it's an experienced fighter. Yes, it's one way now. This is the second round. And there's no real reply from Morgan. Daddy Morgan, the American with the reputation of having lost only one fight in 40 professional fights. But he's not offering, offering an awful lot of resistance now to the fast hands of Steve Collins. Collins chops in that short left hook. Collins looks as if he's enjoying this one. And there's the end of the second round. And a weary Danny Morgan back to his corner. He's got quite a problem in this one. That looks at the moment as if he's going to get his uh, second defeat. A slight swelling there over the right eye. I don't think that's his major problem here. His major problem is that Collins is hitting him far too often and far too hard. Third round. And this is what the crowd came, a packed stadium, and this is what they came to see. And so far, they're happy with what they see. Good, accurate. Steve Collins against a very awkward opponent in Danny Morgan. And a fellow well able to take a punch. There's one, two, three good left hooks to the chin. He's looping in that left hand. It's honing in very accurately on the chin. Morgan, brave, still coming forward. And Morgan's handlers say that if he gets in with one good punch, he landed because he is quite a puncher, but Collins is beating him to the punch continuously now in this third round. Almost put him down there. That good right hand. Collins has a good variety of punches. He punches well to the body and to the head. Hooks, jabs. Nerves getting a little bit ragged there. Well, this is a typical American fighter. Follow that you can never really count him out until he's really down. He's got able to take a punch. Collins has cut him with some great punches here. He's doggedly coming forward now, Morgan. Again, he's clipped. Down this time, though. Oh, he's not too happy there. It was a slightly delayed action, but he was caught with a good, solid punch. I think the referee is stopping it. He's having a look, closer look. What does Freddie Tate say? He asks him, is he all right? And he says, yes, box on. Took a while to decide on this, but now that's it. It's all over. A clear-cut win. So Steve Collins is right in line, as planned, for the crack of the world title. 
and that should be early in the new year and we're hoping that it'll be in Dublin Dave Collins have we got another Bernie McGuigan here a triumph all round for Barney Eastwood for Steve Collins of professional boxing great convincing win well a brave display there by Danny Morgan he shipped an awful lot of punishment stayed on his feet as long as he could he couldn't be faulted for not trying because he really tried